Hey, Zach here, Auto Parts Program Manager at Canadian Tire. I've got our 2012 Jeep JK Wrangler here, and we've had some people asking about how we've got our suspension and wheel and tire combo set up to give it that aggressive stance that it has. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the stuff we've got on here. Essentially, it's got a two inch Rancho lift kit underneath here, and it's got a set of 18 by nine Mayhem Warrior rims wrapped in 30565 R18 BF Goodrich KO2 tires. And that equates to about a 33 inch tall tire. So we're gonna get this truck in the garage, up on the lift, and I'll show you some more of the details of the suspension. We're underneath this 2012 JK here, um, talking about the Rancho two inch lift kit that's on this thing. So uh, we went with the Rancho two inch lift kit for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a very DIY friendly installation. All Rancho kits, in, our, in my experience, are very easy to do. You do it over a weekend, a couple of buddies helping you. It's very DIY friendly. It comes with everything you need to get your Jeep lifted, right? You get Rancho shocks, you get the progressive rate springs front and back, um, you get the brake line bracket, then you get these bump stops up front. The other reason I like this kit is that it's compatible with the factory Jeep stability control system. So you don't have to make any changes there. Um, and two inch tends to be about the right lift for these JKs, unless you get into something really heavy duty, because you can run the factory drive line, the factory drive shaft, without any problems um, when you're doing just a two inch like this. And that's enough to get you a uh, set of 33s underneath your stock fenders, or if you've got um, flat fender flares like we do here, you could actually go to 35s on your Jeep if you wanted to with the, uh, the two inch kit like this. All right, so we're at the back of our Jeep here. You can see our Rancho shocks from the kit, the uh, progressive rate springs, and these brake line brackets. Now these brake line brackets are important. They allow you to reposition the factory line so you can get the extra length you need without putting stress on the line. If you don't have that, you can stress the line, they can break. Uh, we've seen that happen and it's not good. So you wanna make sure you get a kit that has a brake line repositioning bracket for the back if you're not gonna upgrade to a longer line. The other thing that's important here is these are progressive rate springs. So they maintain the same kind of ride quality and control on the road as you get with your factory springs except they're a little bit longer, so you, they allow you to get you a little more articulation off-road, a little better performance, along with the Rancho shocks. All in all, we've been running this kit for about a year, like I mentioned, um, very happy with it. On the highway, in the city streets, and off-road, it's a really well-balanced kit. Um, really happy with the way it's been on this particular truck.